Well, this is a really nice John Deere dealership here in Elk Mountain, Wyoming. Hey guys, welcome back to this Flip the Farm series. We are here on the hunt for some new land. Uh, this is a transition episode here on the series. So if you've been following along, wait, is that a postcard? Oh, let me grab one of those. Yeah, if you've been following along, you'll know that I've been up in Umbrian Valley working for Mr. Bill, uh, clearing some land for him, doing uh, quite a bit of logging work, but I needed that work to make some money. So now it is time, now that the work up there is nearly done, for me to search for a farm of my own. So scoured the internet and come across this area here up in Wyoming where the land is actually reasonably priced and actually found four farms all in this area that are for sale. So that's what I'm doing. We're on the way back to Umbrian Valley from Thanksgiving, uh, spending some time with the family. So we're here uh, on our way back. We're going to take a look at these farms today and then head on back up to Umbrian to finish up. So the first farm that we're going to look at here is a good ways out of town. Ooh, these roads are a little bit icy. I may need to slow down a bit. The views up here are amazing. I cannot imagine living in a place like this and waking up to a view like this every single day. How lucky are those folks? So this is the first farm up here that we're going to look at. See the for sale sign there. Been working with a fella over at EMR Realty. His name's CJ. A really nice guy. And he put together a package for me to take a look at today of these four farms. And so we're going to take a look at them real quick. We'll check out each one and see what it has to offer. And then uh, head on out of town. Um, this first farm here, uh, from what I understand, the house is in pretty good shape. It has a nice little carport there beside it. Uh, this shed over here is not usable. It has been here a while and was not constructed very well when it was built. And so it's had a lot of leaks. And just has some uh, structural damage now and it's just going to cost more to repair it than uh then it's worth really than building a new one so uh, that shed there is not usable would have to be torn down uh, but you do see there's some fencing around here nice little uh, farmyard it's a bit overgrown with some bushes there but a little bit of work would uh, have it looking really nice so this barn here is pretty nice from what I could tell from the pictures. Uh, let's check the doors. Yep, the doors do work. And so it is really nice in here. A lot of storage uh, would be difficult with some bigger equipment, but for some smaller equipment, you could get a lot in here. I like this. Very nostalgic feel to it. And then back here, there is a field behind this uh, or as part of this parcel and then out this way is a big grass area it's hard to tell with the snow on the ground but there is a grassy area over here uh, on another parcel that goes along with this farm and then there around the uh, curve there around the bend of the river there's another parcel that goes along with this farm as well so it's three parcels the total for this farm comes out to $135,000, which in my opinion is really reasonable for all of this land. So that is really one of the reasons why I came up this way because the land prices seem to be very, very reasonable up here in Wyoming. So I bought a drone. So let me uh, grab it out of the truck here. We're gonna send it up and kind of take a look at the lay of the land from an aerial perspective and see what all it has to offer. 
All right, there goes the drone. It is climbing up there. We're going to pan around here. You see this field behind the house here. This field is part of this parcel and goes along with the cell. And then let's uh, kick this thing in the high gear here and zip across here. This is the grass field area here that is available. I believe at one time there were some cows or cow pasture out there, but some of the fencing has been damaged, so it would need to be repaired. And then this parcel over here does go along with the cell, but there's an issue with it. Uh, first of all, this shed as well uh, would have to be demolished. Uh, you see there the rust stains there along the buildings had some quite a bit of water damage, a lot of rust and mold inside. So that one is in a state of disrepair as well and would need to be removed. And this is odd here. This is a way station actually on this property. So I don't know if this piece of property was actually uh, originally part of that farm or if they have picked it up here at some point. But it appears that this parcel had been used for some type of industrial staging area maybe maybe the local mine uh was storing supplies or equipment here i i don't know but what we can't see right now is with all the snow on the ground this entire lot here is covered in gravel gravel or a uh, crushed rock type material so that poses a problem because i would not be able to farm i could not turn that in We'd have to get some equipment, a grade or something in here and try and scrape most of that up before we could till it in. And I'd imagine we need to amend the soil after that as well. So that is this first farm. It has three parcels here that go along with it. $135,000. Basically one established field and then a large grass, grasslands type area that we could use for something. So very nice. This is uh, the first one we're going to look at today. So let me get this drone set back down here. We'll throw it in the truck and head on down to our next farm. All right, so the next farm is going to be directly across from this location here. If we can get across the road without having an accident. We'll have to say if I do end up moving here through the winters, I may need another form of transportation or might have to get a set of tires for this truck. It is a little bit slippery here in the snow. So the next farm is back down this country lane here. I'm going to try to be real careful. I definitely do not want to slide off into the ditch here. I don't think I would get out, out with these street tires on this truck. I do have four-wheel drive, but this snow is really, really slippery. So the next farm is down here on the right. Yep, that looks like it. There's a for sale sign out in front of this one. So let's get pulled on in here. So this farm is uh, kind of interesting. It has a house and a garage, but both of these, uh, the, it needs a lot of work. It has been closed up for so long. There's, it has some mold in there. Uh, it needs to be ridden of some pest. So I don't know how well this one be, would be to live in. So that would be something we definitely need to check out prior to purchasing this particular piece of property. But the barn on this one I really liked, according to the pictures, very spacious. A lot of room inside of this barn. Could get some larger equipment in this one. So I do like that. It does have lights as well. And this one does have a silo on the property. Problem is... It doesn't work. Uh, this silo has been here. Older design has had some problems 
and the previous owner just basically gave up on it. So talking with CJ, uh, he had said that the cost to repair it would just be more than it's worth and it'd probably be cheaper in the long run to just get rid of it, tear it down, and then put up something new if we needed grain storage. So you see there's some tires laid around it. They, the previous owner just gave up on it and started uh, collecting junk around it. But that's what's on this property back this way. Uh, it just does grass out to the river. And then across the road here are the fields that come with this parcel. So let me get back over here to the truck. Uh, we do not need ice today. <laughs> Got an ice machine, top of an ice machine or something there. That is not needed today. You just open the doors. Plenty cold. So let me uh, grab the drone out of here. And we'll send it up and take a look at this one. All right, drones going up here. You see the property, a uh, pretty decent sized parcel here on this side of the road. And it does go back here to the river. Some trees back here bordering along the river, but a lot of room back here for maybe some uh, grass activities, grass work activities, or maybe some animal pens. I don't know what, what the uh, area is known for, but there may be some opportunities there for some animals. If we look across the road here, this first field, according to the satellite view, is round. And I think that's what we're seeing here. Hard to see with the snow on the ground, but this field is round. And then directly behind it is another large field. So both of these fields, established fields at that are part of this package here on this farm and then this parcel here next to it is a large grass natural grass area it does have some trees there in that corner but from here all the way back to the road is included as well so really large farm here a lot of land a lot of potential opportunity on doing some different things so this one has quite a bit of land that comes with it. And the total price for this one is $257,000. Uh, and this one actually borders up to uh, this Elk, Elk Mountain Ranch back over there through the trees. Uh, this was the original Elk Mountain Ranch for this area. So uh, that's pretty neat. It's nearby there. And maybe have some opportunities with working with those guys as well so we're going to get back here bring the drone back to the truck we'll head on back into town I have to go through town and then head on over to our other two farms all right we are headed back through town here we are uh, going to pass by the dealership here on the left and one thing i wanted to mention too about this dealership i found out they actually have quite a bit of equipment. Matter of fact, we'll swing by real quick. You see they do have some used stuff sitting out here in front. And then let's take a loop around here beside the dealership and show you they do have some other equipment back here. They have a large storage area. They do have quite a bit of used equipment, which is appealing because that means we can maybe pick up some some equipment to use and not have to spit out so much money so that is really neat to see and I passed the road there let me back up so it looks like they have enough volume here that they can have some used stuff from time to time uh, they did mention that the guys out there at the Elk Mountain Ranch do like to go through equipment pretty regularly they like to have new stuff so they get trade-ins all the time from that that big ranch so we're going to head on back down here past the shop down through town uh, there is another used car dealership down here uh, when i come into town the first time i saw they had a few things out there a couple tractors i think it was yeah right here so they got a couple things out there as well so 
a lot of opportunity it seems like around here for some used equipment and also the uh, little service station out there around that first farm we looked at I believe they have some stuff some of that stuff there is really old but there may be some opportunities there for some used equipment as well so the next farm we're going to look at is here on the left I'm going to pull over here and try to get off the road yeah, here we go. Ooh, man, it is slippery. All right, let me cut the lights off and the engine there. So this here is the next piece of property. Uh, matter of fact, let me just drive on up to the house. Uh, down here is the one of the field, and there is a silo and a little hay storage area down there. But that silo does not work. It has been there a really long time and is no longer usable uh, we have a field here on the left and then the house is down here as well as barn really nice looking piece of property here really like the pictures i saw uh, the house is beautiful i really like the barn uh, the only thing i'm concerned about is the barn the way it's laid out i don't know how well it is suited for some large uh, farming equipment the doors on it are kind of small Oh, it looks like we have a hole in the roof here we need to get fixed and then here's another bay over here so yeah you could you could get something in there but nothing very wide so i do like it this silo down at, at this part does not work as well so the barn's nice it looks really nice but i don't know how well it would be suited for our farming work House is beautiful. I do like the view on it over the river there off the back porch. So let me run back over here to the truck. We'll grab the drone, send it up, and take a look at the farmlands available on this farm. All right, drone is going up here, and we see that we have a large field directly behind the barn here. A very large field. And then if we come over here, there are two more fields that are included with this cell you have this one back here through the trees nice field there and then we have this one over here that we pass by along the road here so quite a bit of land a lot of land but actually out of all the farms we'll look at today i believe this one has the most established farmland already I do like the drive behind the fence here down to the house. I'm just concerned with the barn. Not sure how that's going to work out. Uh, but this farm here, total cost for all of this is $245,000. So let me get this drone back in the truck here. And we'll head on down to the next farm. I think our next farm is going to be just up here to the right. I don't think this is it here. It's going to be the next turn in, I believe. Sure did not pick a great day to be checking out farms with this snow. But it was when I could schedule it on my way back. So we'll make it work out. Try to get get some good information so we can make a good decision. Alright, this is it here, and I am sliding through that. Woo! Let me back up here and make the turn. Mercy, my tires are packed with snow I have no traction all right this is it here yeah there is the for sale sign so we'll just leave this here actually you know what let's pull on in here I do like this farm out of all of the ones we've looked at I believe this one was probably my favorite as far as the actual the farmyard and the home home site uh, we got the windmill here around the house really beautiful house again another one of these sheds that we cannot use this company had come in years ago and built a bunch of these sheds for some of these farmers and none of them have lasted they they were pretty shoddy work and so that one there according to cj is no good needs to be torn down but i have a big barn here and this out of all the farms that we've looked at today is the only farm that has a silo 
So we do have some grain storage there. But again, with the barn, while it looks nice, there's just not a whole lot of space for parking any big equipment. So a little bit concerned with that. Always could add a barn, but this one is what is currently here. And then we have a very large expanse of natural grasslands back that way and over that direction as part of this cell. And then there's a little bit across the road there that comes along with this farm as well. So let me grab the drone. We'll send that up. And going up with the drone here. We'll look across the road and this little area over here goes along with the farm it's pretty pretty good incline to it pretty good slope so uh don't know what you could use it for but there's some trees on it um, might could use it for something and then back this way there's a large area of natural grasslands of course you can't see the grass because of the snow but as it goes far back this way and over this way some as part of this cell the only problem with this, and what is very strange to me, is that there is no established field. So I'm not sure why this farm had a grain storage, unless they have let the fields go, and they've just got overgrown with uh, grass, I guess. I, that's the only thing I can think of. But very nice farmyard, and uh, this one comes in at $334,000. So those are the four farms... So let me get this drone back down here and we'll pack it up and head on out. All right, so got the gate closed up. So I'm going to head on back to Umbrian Valley. Got still quite a drive to go. And we're going to get back over there and continue our work for Mr. Bill. And hopefully can make a decision pretty soon. I, I do like this area. I think it's going to be good. It's not too far away from Umbrian Valley. So getting back over here with our equipment won't be too difficult if we choose to bring some stuff with us but I, I haven't made a decision let me know your thoughts I hope you enjoyed the episode please be sure to click that thumbs up button that is the best way you can support my work subscribe if you had not done so already and we'll see you back here very soon